Well, we started the stripping process of the, uh, <coughs> well, it's the Tayo 4x4 pickup, uh, racing pickup. Uh, shares the same body as the Tyco Bandit. Um, it was red, white and blue. Uh, you can see part of the original paint job there. Um, yes, my 14-year-old self repainted this. As you can see, some of it worked pretty well. Uh, some not so much. And some even worse. Now, I was going to attempt to full sand it back to plastic strip of this but given its age its size and its complexity of the shape i think i'm just gonna smooth it and prime it and repaint it on top of this paint um see how it goes um electronics wise well this is the basic chassis um it is a basic chassis it is four wheel drive as you can see and um, so i don't know whether to do a uh, very soft sort of renovation and just swap a speed controller into this only as it is or whether to fully make a new chassis for it we'll see haven't decided um anyway so that's part one um right, well, yes there's a second phase of this um when i started to sand off the black um, the pigment from the black paint has actually stained the plastic grey, making it look like it's primer. That is actually the colour pigment in the plastic. So I thought, oh, no, I'm definitely not going to be able to get all this sanded back to plastic. But as it turns out, um, if you persevere, um, I went into the shed to look for my sanding blocks and found these brand new ones that I'd forgotten I bought. Now, because of that nice little pointy angle there, I've managed to get into all those little nooks and crannies. Now, I'm not going to be able to clear all the black, but uh, it's given me a, a second sort of plan. Uh, I'm going to sand it smooth. Uh, as you can see, it's fairly rough at the minute. Um, if I can get this smooth enough, I literally don't have to paint any white on it now. Um, I can just paint the red parts and the blue parts that I need to directly to the plastic and then clear coat the lot, um, which will give me... A nice even coat and it'll be shiny white plastic and then if for any reason when I'm running it it does get scraped I'm scraping plastic I'm just scraping clear coat off so hopefully that's made it all a lot, a lot easier I am still gonna have to primer this unless I leave it black um, as a feature I don't know um, so yeah just need to sand off the bonnet hood depending on where in the world you are and the roof or roof depending on where in the world you are <laughs> sorry i'm being overly sarcastic today it's new year um nearly so yeah right so yeah um i've got the bits in a little baggy now they're all either colored or black so i don't need to do anything with those I need to just put them back on the windows are black so i just need to give them a polish and uh once i've done the paint reassemble it now that's bodywork so there we go that will do for now um on to the next bit. There we go. Um, I'm not going to bother sanding the truck bed itself. I'm just going to smooth that off a little bit. Um, I'm undecided whether to go with a direct to plastic paint for garden furniture or whether to primer it. Uh, I have a, like a grey gray primer which is really good for plastic. Um, I mean if you scratch it it's still white underneath I suppose. Um, so I'm going to paint a little bit that has the black paint on and see how it goes. Uh, it may, the the plastic prime, the plastic paint be like an acrylic based paint, so it may just go over that. We'll see. Uh, yeah. 